Um, if you're a do DIYer, you could do this yourself too, especially if you're good with electronics and a heating gun or iron gun, um, soldering gun. That's what I'm looking for. So here, um, I have no blower, so I'm going to take, if I can get you some shots here. I'm going to take this bell housing off and see if that diode's, there's a little diode in there, and I'm going to see if that's uh, burn up. So if you look at it closely, you can see it's all burnt. So I'll show you how to replace this diode and um, get this motor going going again. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So this is the bell housing off that variable speed motor. Now if you have an older variable speed this resistor sometimes go bad. So if you don't have a blower and you got power going to it, to it, most likely it's this thermistor. Thermistor, that's what it's called. This is an SL22. Um, I bought these through Seeger Electronics, but I think since then they've shut down. And I'll leave a link in the description below. You can get these right on Amazon. Um, they also come you got to make sure which one you have. This one here is an SL32. These are bigger ones. I think these are 1 ohms. And I'm, these are, I'm not sure exactly what ohms these are. These are the bigger ones though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, this control board, and I'm going to un, I'm going to unsweat the solder for this resistor. So let me get you set up and I'll show you the steps of how to do this. Take these screws out on the side and this whole thing will pop out. A couple of screws in there too you gotta remove. Oh yeah, you can see it got hot right there. So I'm going to unsolder that. These, so basically you can see here, this side here. So I'm going to basically unsolder here and here, and that should come off. Okay, I thought I had you on record, but I didn't. So basically I used the Craftsman 200 heated up this joint and this joint and I was able to pull that out which ended up uh, just shattering the old resistor transistor so I'm gonna get the new one in and I'll show you how to do that so I kind of dipped it in that flux Poke it through the two holes. There. So you put that in there about like that. And you want to take the ex excess out of there. Fold it over.
Well, I'm not a professional electronics guy, but if I could have done anything different, leave it in the comment section below. But that's how you change this transistor. Um, so yeah, if your variable speed ECM motor is not working, pull that bell off and see if you have one of those. There's two different styles. Like I said, this is the SL22, which is the one ohm. And like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below where you can get these at. So basically, once you get all done, obviously you put everything back. So there, that's all in place. I'll go within the next few days, pop this on. I'll bring you along and we'll see if it works. It should. Uh, like I said, I've, I've had Johnstone Supply back in the day replace these for me for like 80 bucks. That was five, six, seven years ago. So I decided to buy these myself, replace them myself, keep it in house. Um, if you're a DIYer, you could do this yourself too, especially if you go with electronics and a heating gun or iron gun, um, soldering gun. That's what I'm looking for. I, I'm not an electronics guy, so if I said if I did something wrong, leave it in the comment section below. But I'll uh, bring you along when I put this all back together to see if it works. And just like that, with some editing powers, I'm back here to put this module back on. Just plug this back in. That. So I have the thermostat calling for fan. So let's see what happens here. We have blower. We have blower. There you go, folks. Easy fix. If you got the, some electronic, electronical skill by soldering, using the soldering iron, you can solder that uh, diode or whatever it is it's called. I'll leave a link in the description below on Amazon where you can find that. Smash that thumbs up button if you got any value out of this content. I greatly appreciate every one of you.